Donald Trump edges closer to Russia, U.S. soldiers land in Europe after Afghan mob Donald Trump has sent U.S. military to Poland to join NATO's multinational battalion just after the U.S. president dropped the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan The Polish president welcomed the U.S. troops which he believed would protect the country's sovereignty from the threat of Russia the 900 American troops will serve alongside 150 British and 120 Romanian soldiers in Orzis after landing in Poland in March. NATO deployed troops as part of the bloc strategy to contain Russia and protect allies in Eastern Europe. The troops will be stationed near the Russian border enclave of Kaliningrad, which is a relic of the Soviet Union and is separated from the rest of Russia by other Baltic states. About 4,000 NATO troops have been placed across Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia and has become NATO's biggest deployment of troops since Afghanistan. According to RT, President Duda described the deployment of U.S. troops as a historic moment. He said. Generations of Poles have waited for this moment since the end of World War II, generations that dreamt of being part of the just, united, democratic and truly elite free West. NATO forces in Poland began their military campaign earlier this year in Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia on a rotational basis. A fleet of 300 UK military vehicles were set to be delivered to Estonia including Challenger 2, Titan and Trojan tanks and AS-90 self-propelled artillery pieces A 450-strong German force was also sent to Lithuania to work alongside Belgian and Danish soldiers in the region. President Trump backtracked on his criticism on NATO after branding the alliance as obsolete. The billionaire targeted the organization days before his inauguration because it failed to stand up to the rising threat of terror. However, during a joint press conference with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg on Wednesday, Mr. Trump turned on his previous comments. He said. I said it was obsolete. It's no longer obsolete. I complained about that a long time ago, and they made a change, and now they do fight terrorism. The U.S. contributes around 70 percent of NATO's total defense spending and Mr. Trump said that the alliance was still very important to him but called for other members to increase contributions. Mr. Trump increased his efforts in the fight against terror after dropping the mother of all bombs on an ISIS tunnel system in Afghanistan. At least 36 ISIS fighters were killed in the attack with no civilians believed to have been harmed during the attack. Speaking after the strike, White House spokesman Sean Spicer said the U.S. was taking the threat from ISIS very seriously. He said. In order to defeat the group we must deny them operational space. Which we did.